This is a quick video for Ben Troxel highlighting my audio setup. Setup. Um, I've got this mixer with a very bright blue LED. Um, it's a Xenix 802. It's got a bunch of microphone inputs um, using XLR cables and it provides phantom power if you push that button. So right here on these outputs they're, they go to like your whatever is recording your mix. Um, I take some composite cables or yeah composite cables. That light really is that bright in real life. I usually put that breadboard there because it's so bright. Um, I connect these composite cables here for left and right. On the other end it's just uh, same thing on the other end. Connect that to this composite cable which makes it very long. So I got that sort of thing. And on the other end is just a 3.5 millimeter TRS connector. Um, stereo. And this I plug into the line in on my Mac Mini. So I can record whatever's coming through the mixer. And in this case it would be the microphone right here. So, so I could turn on phantom power here. And power's on. Actually, for demonstration, I'm just going to plug this into directly into my uh, speakers. Which are these uh, just Alltech Lansing computer speakers? Okay, it's plugged into the subwoofer down there. Turn this up a little bit. Testing one, two, three. And I've just got a pop filter right here. And the microphone is a. I can't remember. It's an MXL. It's an MXL 770. A multi-purpose microphone, great for everything. It's got a little switchy switch here, which switches stuff, and another another switchy switch right here, which I sometimes use. Um, it switches between zero dB and negative 10 dB, which is like the noise floor or something. I don't know. I just play around with it until I get something that sounds good. Same with the mixer, it's really great to uh, adjust the trim um, until you get no noise. And then adjust the, the volume down here for loudness. Right now it's going directly to, to my speakers, that's bright. But um, if, you, if I made this go to my line in on my Mac Mini, I could use VLC or whatever. Or not VLC, Audacity. And I could record my voice in Audacity. Great program. I forgot to mention some things that might be helpful. I don't know if you're familiar with like the average, the way mixers work, but uh, like this line is all one channel. I, I don't know exactly what their section. Yeah, it's one section. This, uh, this section is all for this one microphone. This second section is for another microphone. Another section is for, um, they call it line ends. Yeah, and that's what I'm using it for here. This line is coming from my Mac Mini, so any sound play played through my Mac Mini goes through the mixer and then to my speakers. And then um, I've got this other line right here um, that goes to my laptop over here. So any sound played through my laptop comes through my speakers. Uh, that, that could be useful if you wanted to, like, record video games um, to, yeah, um, you could have your microphone input here, your computer uh, input right here, and then mix all the levels together right here. And this is like, uh, you could cut the the low, low ranges of the sound, the mid and high. This one is FX, I don't even use that. And then balance for left and right. These connectors are the, I forget what the size are, like five something. They're the big ones, the big TRS connectors, and uh, they're mono. So this one is for right channel, this one is for left channel. And then on the other end of this uh, is just your average 3.5 millimeter stereo TRS connector. And that goes in the laptop. So the laptop audio gets fed into here. 
Uh, what else, what else? If I had another one of these cables, I would use that cable here instead of using these composite cables. Um, there's the main out, which is your main mix, you know. That would take the main here to the Mac Mini. Or actually, you could like monitor it on this one. Or you can monitor on the control room, actually. That's what I'm doing here. Um, this goes to a pair of headphones. It's uh, just an adapter from the big to the small. So I have some headphones I can listen to. I can actually mute my computer speakers and listen to my headphones, which uh, I do that for when I play video games. Yeah, hope that helps.